heart and soul of the game is at the boxing voice No pulling punches or veins up at the boxing voice They shoot it straight to your face up at the boxing voice Ain't no other sight in the game can see the boxing voice Rob with the boxing voice here with trainer of James Kirkland, Rick Morones Jr. Just got done with the media media workout, man. How do you feel? Feel good, man. Feel confident, motivated. James is ready. The whole team is ready. He's ready to go for May night. And he's kind of a low key guy, man. So you know, you know, getting finding out what you know how he's doing, um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to do. But he, from what we seen him last time, he already looks a lot more ripped and ready and a lot more focused, man. So far, how how do you see him where he is as far as uh, you know being prepared for fight night, even though we're still a few weeks out? I mean, he's ready to go, man. Look. This is like I tell people, a well-conditioned James Kirkland yeah. is a dangerous fighter for anybody. Yeah. You know, um, working with Bebe McClinton, you know, I call him the best kept secret of boxing. You know, he's he does a phenomenal job and he makes our job a lot easier. You know, a lot of these fighters come in the training camp, they come to the gym and they're not they're, they're not at their peak as far as conditioning, so it's, it's tough to work with them. Um, James is ready, man. James is, you know, he's already strong, he's feeling good, you know, and then that's all credit to Bebe McClinton for the work he's doing. Yeah, and now that we're past the end, the end talks. Um, how, how do you feel? How's the how's the meshing going? How does the the chemistry going in camp so far? We're good, man. I mean, everybody's you know everybody knows their job. Everybody's on the one page. You know, as far as Gerald Tucker, he does the mitts. He brings in a different kind of aspect of style to the game to our, to our team. Um, you know, working on the little mistakes. That's where my focus is at right now to make it more complete. Um, and baby does the conditioning, man. So we're all excited, man. We're ready to go. Uh, and he's kind of the underdog because of his layoff and. And all these other other factors, but uh, does he kind of like that position? Y'all like being the the guys that we're gonna go out there and kind of prove these guys wrong? Yeah, normally you got the fighter that's coming in the ring with a chip on his shoulder, you know, when he's the underdog trying to prove something. In this case, you got the whole team coming in with something to prove, you know. Um, this is an opportunity for all of us. Um, this is a, a shot for all of us to kind of take it to the next level, as well as James. This is a crossroads fight for James. This is a fight that he knows that he can take him to the next level of boxing. So, you know, we're all ready. We all got a chip on our shoulder, like I said, and we're just trying to prove the world wrong. Yeah, and he, well, he's kind of a gym legend when it comes to him training, and we hear about you know how how hard he goes, and especially in sparring. Uh, can you give us a little insight on that? Is does he completely switch on to beast mode, where sometimes you got to pull him off a guy in sparring, and, and kind of tell him to tone it down because he you know because he just goes and once he starts, he doesn't stop pretty much. Yeah, James likes to work, man. He likes to work. He's the kind of guy that when he puts pressure, you know, it's like they say, pressure breaks pipes. When he puts that pressure, man, he ain't getting off you. Um, you picture a roll of dominoes, you took that one, they're falling, that's, that's pretty much what's happening with sparring partners right now. So we're trying to regroup on the sparring. Um, but he's just he's an animal, man. He's a tough guy, and that's something we're not trying to change of him. You know, we're just trying to fix the little things on the defensive end of his game, his jab, stuff like that. So, you know, the animal's there, and it's always going to be there. So that's something that we look forward to as well, May 9th, with a little more, um, a little more knowledge coming into the game. And that's one thing that he that he's known for is his pressure, and that's one thing that Canelo uh, might you know fall victim to because he likes to fight at his own pace. Is that something y'all can see y'all can exploit, take him into deep water, and not really not let Canelo um, have the opportunity to, to set that pace or you know be comfortable in the fight from bell from beginning to the end? Yeah, definitely. That's the whole purpose in this training camp. Is our focus is kind of you know Canelo likes to get set when he throws his punches. You know he's not he's not a guy who fights off his back foot very well. He likes to be set and let it go. Um, you know, when you combine speed with power, one thing you lose a lot is punch volume. Yeah. And that's one thing that Canelo, that's why people say, oh, you know, he's not throwing, he's not busy enough. Or, you know, everything he throws is hard and fast. You know, he, he explodes with everything he throws. So we're looking to keep him off rhythm, his counter punching, keep his timing off, working that jab, cutting the ring off effectively, getting in his chest, and making it a dirty fight. The longer this fight lasts, you're looking at a fight of the year candidate. And uh, yeah, that's the one thing, because uh, we see this fight as, uh, you know, Canelo is like kind of like the, uh, the flagship fighter for Golden Boy, and they've had a big shakeup, and they lost a lot of fighters. Do y'all feel like uh, you know th there's kind of like the politics playing against y'all, seeing that you know Golden Boy they, they need Canelo to win. They have they must have Canelo. You saw the fight with Erzlani Lada. You know I thought Lada you know won the fight. Um, so we know the situation going into the fight. You know we can't let this lead us to the judges. Um, but it's tough, man, for any man to go 12 rounds with James. Period. You know, taking the, the, the power that he possesses, the body shots, the, the work ethic, the pressure that he brings, the punch ball. I mean, it's, it's something that a lot of fighters, you can't prepare in sparring for a guy like James Kirkland. Yeah. You know, he, he's a whole different animal, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, coming into this fight, we know what's at stake. You know, we, we know we got our back against the wall in, in different circumstances. So we're coming in just to go, man. Hopefully we land that good shot to get his attention. And, you know, when James lands that good shot, he's not going to get off him.
And one thing I did ask James is when we seen him hurt, we seen him hurt early where maybe he got caught cold and, you know, as the fight goes, he warms up and he keeps it, he keeps it going and builds momentum. Is that something y'all kind of notice where y'all kind of have to be wary and careful in the early rounds so that, that he doesn't, you know, get hurt and get dropped? Yeah, you hit it on the button, man. That's something that, that we're constantly stressing in camp, you know, to be smart early. You know, we don't want to give Canelo any confidence as well, knowing, hey, I can hurt this guy, you know. So we're trying to go in there, be as, as smart, as intelligent as possible early rounds and take him to the deep water and, you know, and do what we do best and do what James does, and that's, that's drowning. Yeah, and James fights more like a Mexican. That's something I told him. You see, um, do you think he's going to, you know, pull off the W and pretty much take Canelo's fans with him? We're hoping. We're hoping that night, man. We know it's going to be Canelo, Canelo fans all over the stadium. So, you know, um, a lot of people... That, don't, that do know boxing very well know who James Kirkman is. But a lot of people don't as well. So we're looking that night to show the world what kind of James Kirkman, you know, what he's going to bring to the table. Everybody knows one thing you can guarantee is James Kirkman, um, every fight he's been in, has been a fan-pleasing, you know, style. I mean, he comes to fight, bottom line, every second of every round. So, you know, he's exciting. Now he gets, you know, he's been on the stage, but this is a huge, big stage fighting against Canelo, and now he gets to show the world what he can do. All right, last question. Um... You know, with with that, with with all that that you just said, you know, building up, um, he we know he has the pressure. What do you see other than that that sticks out uh, as far as the attribute of his that you see in camp? Right now, I've like been telling people one word, and that's motivation, man. He's very motivated for this fight. I mean, he's in the gym every day, no complaints. He's working and he's busting his ass every single day in the gym. So you know, the motivation for me. Um, as a trainer, you know, a lot of these fighters, they don't have that motivation and confidence that they need, especially at this level, it's very necessary. Um, James is very motivated, you know, very motivated and confident. He believes in his skills. He believes what he's learning in his training camp. And, um, you know, come May 9th, we're looking to shock the world. All right, well, actually, let me get one more in. Uh, you're, you're an up-and-coming trainer in a really hot market, and uh, so this could be your breakthrough. It just could be James's breakthrough if he beats the so-called, quote-unquote, the guy that's going to be the next guy, the next superstar to carry the sport. And also with SMS promotions, you know, they, 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 they kind of had a, a rough start. And do you see this as a, as a win-win situation if you get that victory for, for all, in all factors with yourself, with SMS, and with James? Yeah, definitely. It'll take us all to the next level, man. This is something that me individually have worked pretty much all my life, the last 11 years for to get to this point. James has worked pretty much his whole life to get to this point. So, you know, we're all coming in. Gerald Tucker, you know, he, he's, he's an up-and-coming trainer as well, and he's devoted his time to, 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 to his craft. So, you know, we're all focused, man, to do what we got to do. Um, and yes, it could take us all to the next level. Um, right now, that's, you know, I'm not even thinking about things like that. And right I was just about the victory and trying to get him that W because without the W, we, we still sit pat and wait for another opportunity. So, yeah, we're definitely not taking disadvantage of this one. We're taking advantage of it and we're going forward with it. All right, what did we see May 9th? Last words. Exciting fight, man. Great fight. A fight that fans got to tune into. They're going to see a great James Kirkland, um, a James, more complete James Kirkland. Uh, James always comes to fight and so does Canelo. So you're looking at fireworks May 9th. Definitely want to tune in. All right, Ross signing out with the Box Boys. Thank you.